Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video, and we have our first look at the two, yes, two new event characters for the holiday event. We have a new UR Grimjaw, as you can see. The event starts in about an hour, so I'm just going through what they released right now. And of course, I'll have a follow-up video. I will try to get these guys pulled as fast as possible and do some testing because you will have two weeks to decide if you want him. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at Mr. Grimjaw here. First off, it's an attack character. No surprise here. It's going to be an Azur Dragon. And his heroic, heroic War Soul increases the HP of all characters. That is nice. That's very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at his skill set. First off, his mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy with 40% increased block pierce chance. If Christmas Grimjaw has less than 60% HP, this attack deals 30% additional damage and causes Grimjaw to recover HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt. Skill damage 160 plus 10. Of course, this is all on base right now. Next up is his Rage skill. Deals damage to a single enemy and ignores 15% of the target defense. Christmas Grimjaw gains 8% increased attack until the end of combat. Stackable up to two times. It cannot be dispelled. If enemy HP is less than 80% when Grimjaw uses a Rage attack, there's a 50% chance to drain 150 Rage from the target. After Weapon Awakens, this attack deals additional damage based on the amount of HP the target has and the amount of defense ignored is increased by 75%. Holy mackerel. Okay, this one is going to be interesting. I love anything that takes rage away and 75% ignored defense. Oof, this could be interesting, this character. Uh, let's take a look here. Trade skill passively. He's going to get passive increase to attack, of course. Blah, blah, blah. His passive skill. This is going to be key. Christmas Grimjaw has increased damage rate. Gain three points of energy at the beginning of combat, each of which grants 100 rage at the beginning of every round. A maximum of three points of energy can be active at a time. While three points of energy are active, using rage attacks activates battle courage, and expends all energy. Grimjaw gains one point of energy with each basic attack and mastery skill and has a 50% chance to gain one point when he receives damage. Battle courage. This rage attack is a guaranteed critical hit and ignores 25% of the target defense. Oh my goodness. You could basically, between the two of those, if they both trigger, you could have 100% <laughs> defense Oh, wow. Ignoring defense. Okay. Interesting. All right. I'm liking what I see. Um, last but not least, his talent increases the HP of all male characters. Very interesting character. Next up, we have Nell, which is no surprise. Was we were expecting her. All righty. So she is, of course, a vermilion bird. They're not changing that with her. And her heroic war soul increases the crit chance of all defense characters. I actually kind of like that. Talent increases the damage rate of all characters. Okay, another solid talent. Let's take a look at her skill set. Mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy and heals Christmas Nell and the ally with the lowest HP apart from Nell for 10% of Christmas Nell's max HP. Okay, we can see where this is going because as you can see at top, specialty is support, protect allies, and recovery. Her rage skill deals damage to an enemy column and reduces the attack of all targets by 10% for two rounds, increases all allies' damage reduction rate by 10%, and crit resistant chance by 10% for one round. After weapon awakens, the effect of this ability are increased and all allies gain Christmas Carol for two rounds. Christmas Carol. At the end of each round, characters with Christmas Carol recover HP equal to 15% of Christmas Nell's max HP. Cannot be dispelled. All instances of allies Christmas Carol are removed when Christmas Nell dies. All right, so we got basically another support healer coming into the game. Let's check out the passive skill. 
Uh, Christmas Snell has increased damage reduction rate and crit resistant chance. All allies gain two stacks of blessing at the beginning of combat, lasting until the end of battle. Cannot be dispelled. Blessing. When an allied character with blessing effect receives a single instance of damage that exceeds 20% of own max HP, the character will immediately recover HP equal to 10% of Christmas Nell's max HP and expend one stack of blessing. Whenever an ally uses a rage attack, Nell's rage attack is excluded. Nell has a 60% chance to grant the ally and herself one stack of blessing to a maximum of two stacks. Nell recovers 8% of her max HP and 100 rage every time Blessing is activated. When Christmas Nell dies, all allies... That... Okay. You know, at first I was reading as we were going through this, and I wasn't digging this so much. I thought it'd be good, but nothing crazy. But that passive skill in this Blessing is really interesting. Okay, it looks like we're getting two absolutely interesting characters. As I said previously, I will get these guys as quick as possible, get them leveled up as fast as possible, and begin testing. That's all this game needs, is more healers and more, more rage reducers. This is going to be interesting. Really cool. It's going to, again, open up a lot of areas in the game not being so limited with um, particular types of healers. Again, this is no Christmas or he made, but uh, she's definitely... Um, be interesting i hope it works like they say because i i have to admit now i'm kind of liking it but uh giving the nod to grimjaw right now because i'm 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 i would love to bring him back into the fold for one of my top tier teams and uh i'm kind of excited for him more so well with that i will get out some testing videos as fast as i can in addition to that We'll go over the Christmas event as soon as that comes up and I can do a quick video for that also. I still got videos in the back burner to get up for you guys, but I wanted to get this event stuff done first, um, at least uploaded first. So there'll be plenty coming at you over the next um, week or so during the holidays. Hope everybody has a great holiday. Please, as always, like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Take care.